Hi, I'm Kaz or Kazzy from Property by Kazzy and today we're back at another site visit. So I'm going to show you round. This is the afters, so after we've done all of the hard work, we're going to get to see the nice stuff here. Before we get into what we've done, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube, make sure you smash that like button so I can see what type of videos you like to see. So where we're at now is the lane. So the lane, we're restoring this lovely Victorian building to its former beauty. So one of the first points I want to start with is what we've done to the outside. If you have a look at the brickwork, you can see it's all been repointed and professionally cleaned to make sure that building has that curb appeal. So when buyers come and see it, they're instantly enjoying what they're looking at and they're a lot more likely to buy. We've also redone the driveway. We've gone for a nice modern linear fencing on the outside, as well as a little slated planted area with some plants. Um, you know, again, to keep the overall feel with the building, if you look to our left, you can see we've gone for the bin storage area as well, which means it's all just kept really clean and tidy. Next thing you'll notice is when you step into this porch area, we've gone to create the Victorian feel by using these replica Victorian tiles on the floor, which really adds to the finish of the build. Also on my right hand side, you'll see that we've gone for the entry phone system for the free flats. Again, just for that modern convenience. Okay, so while we're in the communal area, I think I'll touch on a few things that we've gone from from a design perspective. So we've gone for the laminate flooring on the stairs as well as the rubberized ball nose. Reason being is because it's a freehold property that we're going to retain the freehold interest for. Just for maintenance, we thought we'd keep something that's more hard wearing than carpet. Also, the white paint just means it's very easy to maintain and do touch-ups going forward. And then we went for the PIR sensor lights as well as the um, long-lasting LED bulb. So from a maintenance perspective, it's a lot easier to look after. Um, let's go and see the first flat. So, welcome to flat two. Um, we'll start off in the living room. If you've watched the original videos, you'll see that a lot of changes have been made here. So design-wise, everything's been rejigged. And if you remember, we've actually gone for a very specific layout here. We've gone for something that hopefully will suit people that are buying together, either as siblings or as friends, because we went for the two ensuite rooms, a guest toilet, and then the open plan kitchen living room area. So hopefully we're gonna see that that works. So in terms of the design and feel for the property, before furnishing we went for a quite clean minimalist feel. So we went for the Dulux polished pebble on the walls with the white for the woodwork and then accents of gray so you, and gray and black. So you'll see that in the um, designer panel radiators behind me. If you turn around with me and come and have a look, you'll see in the kitchen, you can see it also in the black quartz worktops by Meta Design with the upstands and also the drop downs. So, Overall, you can see it's kind of about creating a balance within the property. So the black glass cabinets match an accent with the radiators and with the handles and with the worktops and just creating that overall continuous feel of design. So let's talk about this kitchen in more detail. First thing you'll notice is the quartz worktops. High-end, nice quality stone provided by Meta Design. You've got the drop downs as well, as well as the upstands and the drainage grooves that kind of create that really nice finish. In this little breakfast bar, it's great because in the smaller flat, you've still got somewhere to eat and create a functional space. You like wine? We've got you a wine cooler. What else have we got? Pull-out units for storage to maximize storage. All integrated appliances, so an integrated washer dryer, as well as a dishwasher. Yeah, so we've also got the copper accents in both the oven, as well as the flexible tap. Um, and then we've matched those with the dressing when we went for the copper kettle and the copper toaster for continuation. Um, same with integrated appliances, just to keep a really nice clean finish, handleless design with the glass cabinets as well, which are really nice if you want to showcase some fine crockery. Yeah, okay. So I come into bedroom number one, everyone in life like options and with this property that's no different. So this ensuite bedroom is an ensuite bathroom, the other one's an ensuite shower room and they're both technically the master, this is a guest toilet that we spoke about. 
So this ensuite bathroom, I really like it personally. Went for the big mirror all the way across the sink and the toilet. You've got the back to wall, wall hung toilet. Um, design wise, you've got a feature wall in the slate gray and then a slightly lighter gray on the rest of the walls. But again, really good space overall. And I think whoever buys it is gonna love it. Uh, so let's go into bedroom number two of two. On the way there, you'll see that we've got these curved designer radiators. To continue throughout the property, and we've also continued with the Dulux polished pebble on the walls. Left hand side, as soon as you come in, is the ensuite shower room now. So this, again, we've gone for the epoxy on the walls with a marble effect for the feature wall, chrome finish throughout, so on the radiators, a really nice designer rad in there, as well as the flush plate, and this clean minimalist shower with the niche setbacks for your storage, and again, an LED backlit mirror with a dehumidifier in it as well, which means that it can't get steamed up. If you turn around into the bedroom, so again, you can have a better look at this wardrobe. This wardrobe was actually made out of Howden's kitchen units. You can see that it's backlit throughout to include the drawers, which gives it a really nice, luxurious feel. And in terms of finish, really happy with how it turned out. So lastly, and last thing to talk about in this flat is the guest toilet. To maintain the privacy of the owners, you know, you don't want to have them using the ensuite, so you've got a guest toilet for your guests to use. For here, we went for, again for the epoxy, but with the tiled halfway up, black motifs throughout the room. So that includes the flush plate, the taps, the mirror, which kind of bring the design together. Then we've also got the niches either side of the toilets for your hand towels to give it that luxurious hotel feel. So that's it, that's the tour done of flat two. So let's go upstairs and go and see flat three. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've just noticed something. This video, we're putting out these great videos with great guests like Samuel Leeds, but over on the Instagram, we got 50,000 subscribers and over here we got 3,000. So clearly some of you are enjoying and not subscribing. So if you are enjoying, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that like button so we know what you want to see. Now back to the video. So on the way up to flat three, you'll notice, although I'm standing in a communal area, the lights are off, it's still really bright and airy because we opened up the ceiling height and installed a Velux window, which meant you've got that natural light top to bottom and you also have this really nice grand feel of these double heighted ceilings. So follow me upstairs. Okay, so flat three. Um, great thing about doing multiple properties in one building is it gives you options. So we went for a slightly different layout in this one. So this one, this is bedroom number two. Um, good size bedroom over 10 square meters like all of the bedrooms in this property. So like all rooms in the property, good size double bedroom. This one's about 11 square meters. Similar accents to, um, that you've seen throughout the rest of the property. Lighting wise, gone for the LED lighting throughout, as well as a center pendant light, just to give a bit of a feature for the room itself. Follow me to bedroom number two. So bedroom number two is almost a carbon copy of bedroom number two in flat two. So we've got the ensuite here though, instead we went for the marble on all of the walls, chrome finish throughout, and then the black feature wall behind. As you come into the bedroom, only thing that's different is we didn't go for the built-in wardrobes here. We wanted to maximize the space as you've got a little bit of these which reduce the space slightly. Um, but again, they're still a really good size. We fully furnished this room so any potential buyer can envisage how they use it. Um, only real difference in this room is we didn't go for the built-in wardrobe. And in terms of the radiators, we went for the white panel radiators instead. If you actually, I just remembered all rooms, all bathrooms, all the ones downstairs, upstairs, all have underfloor heating as well, which is great for those toasty toes. Okay, so if you follow me into the corridor, this is a space that I really like. So we've actually increased the ceiling heights and installed a Velux window, as well as this really nice chandelier from made.com, which makes the whole space feel a lot bigger than it is and really grand. So this kitchen's from Howden's and we went for the handleless integrated kitchen, which means you've got the copper back plates, which I think work really well and give it a really luxurious feel. They kind of accent with the lighting that we've gone for and then how the property has been furnished overall. Again, just like downstairs, all integrated appliances, you've got your dishwasher, your washing machine, fridge freezer over there. And then again, you've got the display cabinets as well, which work really well. 
as you turn around, you come into the living room space where you've got your seating area over here. Again, gone for the panel designer radiators, but in a white motif in this flat. And then the media walls. The media wall works really well. Space for up to a 55 inch TV and then loads of additional storage with a lighting above. So whatever your favorite thing is, you can display it at the top with pride. Um, and that's the end of the living room. And lastly, I'd like to take you to my favorite room, which is the bathroom. <laughs> Tiny space, but all of this luxury. You've got the shower, you've got the freestanding bath. We've kept the continuation with the natural light with a skylight, and then you've got the back to wall toilet. Marble finish throughout, really nice radiator, the niches, the mirror with the backlight, and then a nice little vanity unit. All with the gold accents and all came together really well. And I think what this shows is even in a small space, you can get everything in and can make sure it's luxurious. So that's it, that's a wrap. That's a tour of this entire property. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know what you're probably thinking, how much money did you make? So the on-target earnings for this property was definitely one, two, three, four, five, six figures. We're hoping with a two in front of it, we're yet to find out. Properties go on the market on Monday. So if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, make sure you've got notifications on because we will be doing an after video explaining how much money we actually made as soon as we get our offers accepted and the sales go through.